हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास दिस इज थर्ड क्लास इन एरर्स एंड अप्रोक्सीमेशन इन केस इफ यू नॉट वॉच इड एर्लियर क्लासेस आई विल गिव दट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन कार्ड्स इन दिस क्लास वॉट आर द प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू डू यू ऑब्जर्व यूजिंग डिफरेंशियल्स फाइंड द अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वी नीड टू फाइंड अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू ऑफ दीज थिंग्स बाय यूजिंग डिफरेंशियल्स नॉट बाय यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर using differentials means delta y is known as differential of y delta x is known as differential of x by using delta y delta x formulas we need to find approximate value of these things before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class In last class related to delta y we learned these two formulas delta y is known as change in y or delta y is known as error in y or delta y is known as differential of y to calculate delta y we have these two formulas delta y is f of x plus delta x minus f of x delta y can be written as f dash of x delta x you observe from this i can write what is f of x plus delta x you observe this formula in this formula you take f of x to the left hand side then you will get f of x plus delta x f of x plus delta x is delta y plus f of x now you see the second formula delta y delta y can be written as f dash of x into delta x so in this formula in place of delta y you write f dash of x into delta x in place of delta y i written f dash of x into delta x plus f of x so what you got you got the formula for f of x plus delta x f of x plus delta x formula is f dash of x into delta x plus f of x f of x plus delta x formula is f dash of x into delta x plus f of x this is the formula we are going to use throughout this exercise number 6.4 using differentials find the approximate value of the following in last class we did three bits like this in this class fourth bit fifth bit sixth bit these three bits we are going to do in this class we are going to calculate approximate value of this to calculate approximate value of this i need to consider f of x what is f of x i'll consider f of x by observing the question let f of x equal to what is f of x you observe this this is of the form x power 1 by 3 this is of the form x power 1 by 3 so i'll take f of x as x power 1 by 3 you observe for this bit i'll take f of x as x power 1 by 10 for this i'll take f of x as x power 1 by 4 okay so for this problem what is f of x f of x is x power 1 by 3 now i need to choose x and delta x in such a way that when i add these two i need to get 0.009 x as 0.008 and delta x as 0.001 one more thing also you need to consider while taking x and delta x when you put this x value in the function it must be simplified easily you need to consider two points when you add x and delta x you need to get 0.009 and when you put x value in the function it must be simplified easily now what is f of x plus delta x you look here the function f of x is x power 1 by 3 f of y is y power 1 by 3 f of z is z power 1 by 3 f of x plus delta x is x plus delta x whole power 1 by 3 so what is f of x plus delta x x plus delta x whole power 1 by 3 x plus delta x you add these two x plus delta x you add these two what you will get you will get 0.009 0.009 whole power 1 by 3 so f of x plus delta x is 0.009 whole power 1 by 3 as you want to calculate approximate value of 0.009 whole power 1 by 3 what is 0.009 whole power 1 by 3 that is f of x plus delta x that means you need to calculate f of x plus delta x what is the formula for f of x plus delta x this is the formula to calculate f of x plus delta x this is important f dash of x f dash of x means derivative of f of x this is like x power n derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 derivative of x power 1 by 3 is 1 by 3 into x power 1 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 by 3 into x power 1 by 3 minus 1 is minus 2 by 3 so this is derivative of x power 1 by 3 i'll write this here into delta x plus f of x what is f of x f of x is x power 1 by 3 
Now, in this, you substitute x value delta x value. You see, x value, x is 0 0.008. Delta x is 0 0.001 plus x, x is 0 0.008 whole power 1 by 3. That equal to 1 by 3 into 0 0.008 is there. Na? That can be written as 8 by 1000. Correct? 8 by 1000 can be written as 2 by 10 whole cube. So, 0 0.008 can be written as 2 by 10 whole cube. 2 by 10 whole cube whole power minus 2 by 3 into 0 0.001 plus 0 0.008 is there. That can be written as 2 by 10 whole cube. 2 by 10 whole cube whole power 1 by 3. Now, this 3, 3 will get cancelled. What you will get? 1 by 3 into, you look here, this is 2 by 10 whole power minus 2. 2 by 10 whole power minus 2 is 1 divided by 2 by 10 whole square. That is 100 divided by 4. 100 divided by 4 into, look here, this is 1 divided by 1000. 1 divided by 1000 plus, look here, this 3, 3 will get cancelled. This is a this is 2 divided by 10. 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2. Now you look here, this two zeros will get cancelled. What you will get in the denominator? 3 fourths are 12. 12 into 10, that is 120. That equal to 1 divided by 120 plus 0 0.2. What is 1 divided by 120? 1 divided by 120 is 0 0.08 plus 0 0.2. If you add these two, you will get 0 0.2. 208. Here, what is f of x plus delta x? f of x plus delta x is 0 0.009 whole power 1 by 3. See here, this left hand side part is f of x plus delta x. f of x plus delta x is 0 0.009 whole power 1 by 3. So, this is 0 0.009 whole power 1 by 3. So, the approximate value of 0 0.009 whole power 1 by 3 is 0 0.208. Now, I will calculate approximate value of this. Now, I need to find approximate value of this. First, I'll take f of x. How it looks? It looks like x power 1 by 10. So, I'll take f of x as x power 1 by 10. We'll choose f of x by observing the question. f of x is x power 1 by 10. Now, you choose x value, delta x value such that x plus delta x will give you 0 0.999 and when I put x value in this, it must be simplified easily. So, here what I'll do, I'll take x value as 1, delta x as minus 0 0.001. You can observe here, if I add these two, I'll get 0 0.999. And when I put x value in f of x, it is simplified easily. So here f of x is x power 1 by 10. I'll write f of x plus delta x. What is f of x plus delta x? You look here, f of x is x power 1 by 10. f of y is y power 1 by 10. f of z is z power 1 by 10. f of x plus delta x is x plus delta x whole power 1 by 10. x plus delta x whole power 1 by 10. What is x plus delta x? If I add these two, I am going to get 0 0.999. So, x plus delta x is 0 0.999 whole power 1 by 10. Actually, I want to calculate approximate value of this. This is nothing but f of x plus delta x. So, I need to calculate f of x plus delta x. What is the formula to calculate f of x plus delta x? f of x plus delta x formula is f dash of x into delta x plus f of x. This is the formula to calculate f of x plus delta x. Okay. Now, you observe here f dash of x is there. Derivative of this. Derivative of this is what? 1 by 10 into x power 1 by 10 minus 1. That is minus 9 by 10. So, f dash of x is 1 by 10 into x power 1 by 10 minus 1 that is minus 9 divided by 10 into delta x plus f of plus f of x. What is f of x? x power 1 by 10. Now, in this you substitute x value delta x value that equal to 1 by 10 into in place of x you write 1. So, 1 power minus 9 by 10 is 1 only. So, here I will get 1 into delta x. What is delta x? Minus 0 0.001 minus 0 0.001 plus in place of x, you write 1. 1 power 1 by 10 is 1 only. If I simplify this, what I will get? 1 by 10 into 1 into, this can be written as 1 by 1000. Okay, so that is minus 1 divided by 1000 plus 1. Further, if I simplify, multiply numerator part, you will get minus. Minus 1 divided by 
10,000 you will get. If you multiply these two, you will get 10,000. Okay. Plus 1. This is nothing but minus 0 0.0001 plus 1. Okay. That equal to you subtract 1 minus this is 0 0.9999. What is what we calculated? We calculated f of x plus delta x. What is f of x plus delta x? 0 0.999 whole power 1 by 10. 0 0.999 whole power 1 by 10 we calculated. Therefore, the approximate value of 0 0.999 whole power 1 by 10 is 0 0.9999. Now, I'll calculate approximate value of this. Now, I need to find approximate value of this. First, I'll take f of x. I'll take f of x by observing the question only. This is of the form x power 1 by 4. Now, I'll take f of x as x power 1 by 4. Let f of x equal to x power 1 by 4. Now, you find x value, delta x value such that x plus delta x will gives you 15. I'll take x value as 16, delta x as minus 1. You observe when I add these two, I'll get 15. At the same time, when I put x value in f of x, it will be simplified easily. Okay f of x you know now what is f of x plus delta x f of x is x power 1 by 4 f of y is y power 1 by 4 f of z is z power 1 by 4 f of x plus delta x is x plus delta x whole power 1 by 4 x plus delta x whole power 1 by 4 x plus delta x if you add these two you will get 15 x plus delta x is 15 15 whole power 1 by 4 so, what is f of x plus delta x? That is 15 whole power 1 by 4. Actually, I want to calculate 15 whole power 1 by 4. So, calculating 15 whole power 1 by 4 is nothing, but we need to calculate f of x plus delta x. What is the formula to calculate f of x plus delta x? f of x plus delta x formula is f dash of x into delta x plus f of x. What is f dash of x? Derivative of this is 1 by 4 into x power 1 by 4 minus 1. 1 by 4 into x power 1 by 4 minus 1 is minus 3 by 4. So, f dash of x is 1 by 4 into x power minus 3 by 4 into delta x plus f of x. What is f of x? x power 1 by 4. Now, in this, you substitute x value delta x value. What is x? x is 16. 16 can be written as 2 power 4. 2 power 4 whole power minus 3 by 4 into delta x. Delta x is minus 1 plus x power 1 by 4. In place of x, I can write 2 power 4. 2 power 4 whole power 1 by 4. This 4, 4 will get cancelled. What you will get? 1 by 4 into, this is 2 power minus 3. 2 power minus 3 is 1 by 2 cube. That is 1 by 8. 1 by 8 into minus 1 plus this 4, 4 will get cancelled. This is 2. So, what you will get? Minus 1 divided by 8, 4, sir, 32 plus 2. So, look here, 1 divided by 32. What is the value of 1 divided by 32? 0 0.031 is the value of my 1 divided by 32 value is 0 0.031 plus 2. Now, 2 minus 0 0.031 is 1.969. So, left hand side, what is there? f of x plus delta x. f of x plus delta x is what? 15 power 1 by 4. So, 15 power 1 by 4 is 1.969. This is the approximate value of 15 whole power 1 by 4. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.